hello, are you ready to accept that we've been lied to since birth about a lot of things? Are you ready to learn about real world connection to the spiritual realm in the spiritual battle for the mind? All right, you can always find the Patreon channel link in the video description below. And if you hop on over there, you can see a short public video to learn more about the type of content you will find on that channel. Now, onward to the YouTube video. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. All right. This shout out goes to Jessica Schofield. Thank you for your continued support and forgive me if I mispronounce that last name. We're going to dive into something. Narcissistic abusers love to try and make their target look stupid. Oh yeah. Remember, it's another projection tactic. Oh gosh, yes, they do. Remember, God says, woe unto those who calls evil good and good evil. Okay? In other words, part of that is trying to make the good guy look like the bad guy. Inside of that is where the narcissistic abusers like to try. Try. There's your key word right there. Try to make their target look stupid. But people see through it. Mm-hmm. People can see through it. Well, they want to try to make their target look stupid, but it won't work. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Yeah, I was like, didn't hear God, I, you know, sometimes I wonder, I'm like, what is it that the enemy does not understand about no weapon formed against thee shall prosper? I mean, really? It just further illustrates how stupid the enemy actually is and not God's chosen one. The chosen one, she's smart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Common sense, logic, getting God's wisdom. Chosen ones are smart. They're problem solvers. Okay, yeah. Don't listen. For, oh, my goodness. Whoever needs this reminder, if you hear a narc try to say that the world wouldn't survive without narc, because narcs are the ones who get stuff done. The devil is a liar, y'all. We know better. These narcissistic abusers are lazy. All right? They got to be handheld. They <laughs> got to be babysat. They're lazy. Okay? They're, they're highly trauma bonded to the world, dependent on all things external. Okay? So, no. <laughs> Think get done. On this planet because of God's chosen ones who are go-getters and get things done. Not, no, they want everything handed to them on a silver platter and we learn not to do that. Okay, we learn not to give them what they want. Because what? You know, they, you give them what they want and it's not ever going to be enough anyway. So why are we going to waste God's time and our spiritual energy on that? We learn to stop doing that. Okay, because that kind of would be in a way how they were try to make their target look stupid if we keep doing it, okay? So we knock it off, because it, we're not supposed to be men pleasers anyhow, but we don't, yeah, okay, we're not, we're not going to let them, okay? It's another trick of the enemy to try and make the target look stupid, try to make target chosen one look like the bad guy. Well, I'm here to tell you, and I'm not the only one that, no, people can see the truth. Mm-hmm. True, other true chosen ones can see right through all those lies and the deceit and things like that. And believe it or not, narcissistic abusers, the human side of them, they can see it too. But because they're being controlled by their demon spirit, the enemy won't let them see the full picture or accept the fact that we're changing for the better and that we are becoming the best version of ourselves as chosen ones. That we are no longer living in their reality anymore. In the fake narcissistic bubble. Okay? We're no longer in it. We gotta navigate through it. That's right. Okay? But we're not we're not on the same level as they are. They are in that low vibration. We're in high vibration. Okay? We're getting God's wisdom. Positivity. Light. Okay? Yes, light. Camera. Action. Okay. <laughs> Hey, that fits on the world stage. So, we learn not to let that bother us either. They want to try to make us look stupid, but it, no weapon formed against these shall prosper. 
And so it's like, uh, never mind. Because <laughs> God will take care of it. I'm here to tell y'all that God isn't going to let the enemy succeed in that. Mm -mm. We are divinely protected by our Heavenly Father. After all, you know, he tells us this. We are divinely protected by God. And so, you know, if the narc tries to make us look stupid in whatever way, well, fellow chosen ones, it isn't going to work on us because of the simple fact that we don't walk by sight. Okay? We don't walk by sight. Okay? We walk by faith. Okay? We're not walking by sight. So, anytime the enemy tries to make us look bad, it's not going to because we don't walk by sight. Let that sink in. It's only going to make us look stupid to another narc who's walking by sight. And you know what? We can care less. Let them think what they want to think. All right? Let, because we know better. We know who we are in Christ. We know we're not stupid. All right? We know we're getting God's wisdom using common sense and logic. Okay? And catching this cognitive dissonance in action. For example, anytime they want to try to sit there and say, you know, uh, bashing it's like I've given this example before, but for those who haven't heard it yet, watch out for this one. That's it's cognitive dissonance in action. Because remember, that is the weapon. All right, the enemy, one of the enemy's favorite weapon to use against humanity all the time. They don't catch it. All right, the sleepers, they're they're not going to catch it. All right, but you got uh huh, you got a matrix bashing. Social media on a platform that's part of social media or that bashing the entertainment industry on a platform that is part of the entertainment industry. Hello, CD in action. Okay, watch out for that. All right, you all, seriously. But that's the one thing we realized about the world stage and, and it's all under the same umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> It really is. It's like, oh, yeah, they're just playing a game, trying to pretend like they're in competition with each other, but they're not. <laughs> Never mind. That is for another day, y'all, because it's hilarious, all right, how they're putting on the show to try to pretend like they're, <laughs> they're not in... Never mind. Okay, I just find it hilarious. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, we all had to learn, y'all, so we're unlearning the lies that we have been told about all of this, okay? Because we... <laughs> It's all under the same media. It's all part of the world stage show, okay? All right, but we don't let it, all right? It's not going it, to... When they try to make us look stupid, all right, they're just doing it to themselves. That's the bottom line right there. They try to make their target look stupid, but in the end, it's the same concept as they, they try to dig a grave for us or... Let's just say a pit. Alright, they tried to dig a pit for us, but they're the ones falling in it. Okay, same concept. They try to make us look stupid, but in the end, they do it to themselves. Because we're sitting here going, uh, yeah, because we're not walking by sight. So, it's like, really? <laughs> so, yeah, they, they trip themselves up. You know, remember something. Narcissistic abusers are the ones who get tricked into playing themselves. That's, that's what the enemy does. He tricked them into playing themselves. So I just wanted to get on here and give y'all some inspiration and encouragement to not, don't let that linger, okay? And and let that uh, take over your thought processes and, and being all concerned about them. Nah, don't matter because God's only doing what? Looking at the heart anyway. And not only that, God protects us. Remember that, okay? So when they try to make us look stupid, whether they realize it or not, they're doing it to themselves because God always steps in and corrects us and God always protects whatever it is and makes sure that it's in alignment with what it is he's called us to do and that's all that matters, what's in the heart, okay? God doesn't, God doesn't even care what it looks like. <laughs> okay, on the outside. No. What does it look like on the inside? What's the value? <gasps> ding, 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 ding. Okay, what's the value? Okay, what's on the inside? The heart. Okay. What is it that's going to help uplift others? Help Jesus and God help others heal and grow spiritually, get closer to God. That's a beautiful thing when we get in our calling because it's going to have that. Whatever it is we're called to do. And so we don't 
If the narcissistic computers want to try to make us look stupid, that's fine. They can try, but they're just doing it to themselves, period. As always, if you've got any questions, you know where to reach me. For additional information, insight, and other good videos, you can check out these right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.